Oh, it's getting weird, Scallywags. It's getting weird up in here today on, on the show. show. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hey, I'm, I'm, you survived. If you're watching us, you survived yet another, another apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah. In case you didn't know, the world ended on Saturday. Yeah. I, kind of weird, or, did or it? Or at least that's what... Uh, that's what they said it was what they said it was going to happen. I, mean, I don't really notice anything Mayan different. calendar. The, the, uh, there's... How many, how many have we been, been There's through? been at least... 12 or so. In, I would just, say we in, survived in our lifetime. a yeah. dozen apocalypses in our lifetime. Just in our lifetime. We, happens all the time. Are we, the we're the survivors, world. right? The end of the world the happens the a lot. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Then remarkably, so, we're still here so the next day. kind of in that spirit, though. Yeah. We spit everywhere. You better um, <laughs> In that spirit, we're looking at some some weird stuff Some weird, today. yeah, some weird stuff We today. got some, I mean, <clears throat> if this is normal, we're... Ab well, we're already Over there abnormal, somewhere. but that's know. okay. Well, I mean, weird for us, even. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. why, don't you, why don't you kick us oh, off you want me today? To kick, us off? kick us off today. Well, I've got uh, I've only got two stories today, and and that's because this first one is kind of a uh, kind of a large one, uh, uh, a bit longer than our normal stories go. But um, I have got uh, four forays into Fortean frenzy. Or something. It's a lot I don't of know. Fs. A lot of weird stuff here. Uh, basically, we got uh, two goat human hybrids, a cyclops pig monkey, and a fountain full of blood. Well, you're That's not, a good yeah. setup, right? You don't need me today. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so this first one, uh, this one's coming out. They call this thing demonic. Uh, they said that they were terrified. It's coming out of India. This was uploaded to Facebook back on August seventeenth. A, a strange creature that is uh, that basically is a goat that has the face resembling a human. And I mean, yeah, I mean, there it you go. It looks pretty I mean, close. That thing's yeah. pretty, pretty gnarly looking. I mean, obviously, you know, well, before we get to that, uh, that's not the only one, though. There was another d demonic goat that appeared in Argentina last month as well. <laughs> this one was stillborn. Um, but there you see it. And I mean, de definitely creepy looking. I mean, Genetic mutations. Yeah, they're 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 definitely uh, mutations and and malformations in the either that or in or vitro, in somebody was getting getting weird with a goat. Well, I mean, they didn't get eaten as as a result. I wonder of, if they're really related to Jimmy. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy. Too soon. It's always too soon. Uh, but then we jump over to uh, Cuba, where another uh, a a a terrified pig farmer. Um, was showing off this pig that was born. Uh, a group of nine piglets were born, but one of them had the face of a monkey. Ooh. But not just the face of a monkey, but one cycloptean eye right in the center of its forehead. I mean, there, there you know, yeah. I mean, oh, just yeah. take a look at that. That's, that's beautiful. That's nasty. That's, 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 that's the beauty of nature right it's, there. Yeah. It, it's lovely. Did it live? Did it live? I don't think it lived. Uh, the, it, it's so, there's, there's no, uh, the only one that, that supposed. I can. I am stuttering and no, cannot no, 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 talk no, no. today. I apologize. Well, it is early. But out of out of all the three of these, the only one that this article says has died uh, was the second one. It was stillborn. Mm. Uh, the second goat human hybrid thing. Um, but then we jump back over to Costa Rica. We got a fountain full of blood. What? I mean, just look at that. I mean, while the, I mean the headline is, it, is terrifying enough. But it's also terrifying uh, pineapple growers in Costa Rica. Um, basically, this was a protest event, so it is die. So none of the none of these are you know real monster things. I guess I probably should have left that part out because it makes the story much more exciting. But uh, but yeah, this was die put in protest um, against the pollution and water shortages caused by pineapple production pineapple production in Costa Rica. Uh, the protester revealed something even more terrifying which is that the dye that was used is a chemical dangerous to people's health <laughs> but it's not as dangerous as agrochemicals wow so there you have it wow yeah Just don't drink the water don't don't drink the well if you're drinking water out of a fountain i mean yeah, it's pretty bad anyway you know what? having rocket and groot flashbacks that was fake blood 
I've got real this blood. This is real blood. I've got real blood. Ha <laughs> ha! Out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, residents spotted a disturbing sight of blood seeping out onto the road from an undertaker's business on Thursday afternoon. Obviously, this is not this Thursday, but actually it was this Thursday, the 16th. Yeah. It was last Thursday. Yeah. Uh, gruesome photos show the red liquid trickling onto the back street of a valve outside the Green Oaks Funeral Home. City officials had a stoppage in a line that caused the blood, which was mixed with embalming fluid, to leak from the storage tank behind the building. It only lasted 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes. Enough. The liquid mix did not find its way to the city sewer systems, per multiple reports. We sent our... We sent out both our sewer inspectors and the environmental specialists to take a look. Uh, the city of Baton Rouge Department of Environmental Services told the news agency. We were we determined. I can't talk either, so I it's, know, it's right? just it's spreading. It's spreading. We determined that it wasn't a sewer issue and it was an issue on the private property. Uh, Smith also noted that it was now a priority to get the funeral home, which is under new management, signed up with proper permits. It's unclear whether the business will receive a citation over the incident. Wow, they. <laughs> Operating on on dead people without a license. Yeah, right. I figured that was you know something that you probably had to do before you got started doing that, but apparently, apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently, that's not as big an issue as as. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I did, I did, I did what? a big one. You can do too. You want to buy a piece of property? I, I want to buy this one. Yeah, the Lizzie Borden House is on the market. For $850,000, you can live underneath the same roof where Lizzie Borden lived after she was acquitted of brutally murdering her father and mother in Massachusetts. The 4,000 square foot river mansion called Maplecroft, since uh, very huge home trends get their own name, has eight bedrooms, three and a half baths, and six fireplaces. Now, I want to point out, though, that this is just where Lizzie lived after she was yeah, acquitted. Not where she this is not where she killed them. everybody. Yeah. That, that's actually just a uh, hollowed out shell yeah now. Mm -hmm. but uh, uh borden her sister emma, emma inherited most of the father's wealth 10 million dollars at her time at the time uh the sisters bought the mansion in 1894 with money from their father's estate named maplecroft uh townspeople kept their distance uh emma moved out eventually leaving her sister to live at maplecroft with the staff uh it was bought by uh christy bates of texas in 2014 for half a million dollars uh, Bates considered turning the Queen Anne Victoria to a bed and breakfast museum and event center. <clears throat> and that's about it. So, yeah, for $850,000, you can it's own nice the house. house of a murderer. Yeah, it's a nice house. It is a nice it's, house. It's weird how, how often the Lizzie Borden house and the Amityville house go up for sale. Yeah. It's like there's some bad mojo I know, tied right? to that, right? Even though, even though the, the the Amityville house, since the Lutz family, no one, not a single person who has lived there since then has reported any paranormal. I know. I, it, it's kind of one of those things that maybe it was tied to just that family. I and, think it might have, or maybe it was a hoax. You know, I'm, I don't like using the H word. I don't either, but... But it's possible. It's definitely a possibility say, that it was a hoax. Tons but. of investigations, tons of people living there since then, and nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's it's come like, up of any it, reputable. It's, it's a well, man. I totally blanked on the guy's name that lived there that killed all the people. Um, Manson. No, lived in the Amityville house oh, before oh, the oh. Lutz family. Um, we can do research. Man, we can do research. Drawing a blank. But anyway. He, he claimed that he heard voices, which, I mean, at first he just said he murdered his family. But then later on, he, he changed his story a whole bunch of times, and then he was like, well, I heard voices that maybe do blah, 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 blah. Well, then the Lutz family moves in, the Amityville horror takes place, and then nothing. Yeah, nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing ever since. Hmm. Strange. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, keeping on the on the now that we're totally sidetracked, um, <laughs> it's okay. We do that here. Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> what? I mean, she's uh, she's known for for doing some some kind of out there stuff. I she mean, was pepper she's, got, she's got a kid named Apple for yeah, God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. But um, she's released a new product. It is a spray elixir that that not only will will help you to smell good it's therapeutic it's it's a combination of gem healing and deeply aromatic therapeutic oils but not only will it make you smell good and you know feel good but it will keep away bad vibes and it will also keep away vampires 
Wait, which kind of vampires? I mean, oh, vampires. Got all vampires? Yeah. So we got the both the sparkly emo vampire vampire. And we've got the classic Bram Stoker Stoker vampire. That's huh? right. Basically, wow. um you, you you spray this generously around your head to safeguard your aura. <gasps> and that's and that's what does the trick. I mean, at least that's according to the ad for Psychic Vampire Repellent. It's $30 plus tax and shipping for a 3.4 100 milliliter bottle. Uh, while garlic, holy water, and a crucifix are the primary tools most people want to carry for a vampire meeting. None of those are on the list for the ingredients of this product. But but there you have it. I mean, yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow is now selling vampire repellent. Um, I can't not, not, not weird at all. No. No, totally, um, totally normal. I don't even know if that, that actually... I personally would rather have the holy water than the crucifix. I actually have a funny and... story about Gwyneth Paltrow. Go, go right Total, ahead. Totally, I mean... Totally. Now that we've we, already, you know, we've already segued anyway. You know, yeah. si sidetracked so, once. Okay, so jumping back to like the 90s here for a minute. Uh, Brad Pitt is from Springfield, and that's, of course, where we're from. Um, and uh, he you know, comes back to visit, actually. I used to actually have regular interactions with his mother. But anyway. I, I actually I have, um, too. And uh, I I've, actually have talking, uh, talked to um, his ex-wife uh, when I worked at Walmart. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, they, they, he and Gwyneth Paltrow used to be a thing way back in the day. Well, this was before Gwyneth really became big, like a big Hollywood mm -hmm. name. Uh, and they were in town for, I want to say it was Thanksgiving. Uh, but anyway, my, a friend of mine worked at this grocery store and Brad Pitt came in like late in the evening uh, to pick up a couple of things. And of course, everyone just swarms him. Um, so he actually turns and leaves and swent, is it swent? Swent. Sent, sent <laughs> Gwyneth in to get the stuff instead, and nobody knew who she was. <laughs> anyway, just, just, yeah, wow. I'm using anecdote. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. So, um. That yeah. never happened now, but. No, but it yeah, wouldn't happen back now. Then, she was, would be like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, give me some free stuff. Um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for a weird edition of... How about you have another one? No, you know I don't have another one. one. Oh, no, okay, well, there you go. I'm going to save those two for next week. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yep. Nice and weird. Yep, nice and weird, short and sweet. Yeah. Uh, if we missed anything that you think we would enjoy that's weird or odd or strange or... Put it down. Put it in the comments below. Down put it... Yeah. Right down. Are we doing ASMR? It's down there. there. No, yeah. no. Somewhere it's down there. Just... Yeah. You'll have to look for it. It's okay. But it is yeah. down there. Um... Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And uh, while you're here, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can catch all that we have to offer every Monday through Friday. And uh, other than that, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. This is Grand Admiral Thrawn. And this is Sabine Red. And this is your Russian clip of the day.